Hello everybody. Um, I said I'd do you a video of the um, um, the boring, laborious task of putting the plaster on. Um, so I've already started a section. Now the trick, the trick is, don't make too much plaster up in one go. Um, and put powder in first. Um, and then add your water. The reason for that is you, if you put too much water in, you end up making too much. And you have to add so much plaster to it. And because you don't want it, you want it a really watery um, consi consistency. So it's not like you normal plaster. You don't want it knocked up like... Um, wall filler or something like that you actually want I don't know if you can see in there a really watery consistency it almost like it's too watery but it's enough for the tissue to go hard now you need a nice big box full of pre-cut tissues because you haven't got long and once it starts getting on your fingers as you can probably see where there's loads of it all over my camera if it's on the screen. So this is the process. Bit of plaster. My arms are probably going to be in the way. So you just dunk your tissue in and drape it on. Your first layer is just a case of whacking it on. Try and overlap them a little bit so you're building the layers up. Um, really, the wetter, the better. And as it, as the, so you only get a couple of minutes, and as the plaster starts to go off, you can see that it, the tissue doesn't want to absorb it. So you, you need it wet to start off with, so you get a little bit longer. And the wetter it is, the easier it drapes onto your cardboard. Now don't be worried if it all overlaps and it all looks like you're making a disaster because it doesn't really matter because by the time you start painting it and um, you're putting another layer on anyway painting it putting on your gravel and your grass um, and then trees, and bushes, and everything else. Any imperfections or bits look too much like draping tissue. You know, curtaining, that curtaining effect. Doesn't matter at all. You're already, the plaster's starting to go off in the bottom of the pot. And you can tell because the tissue starts to bind together where it hasn't got the weight where it's really wet now if you make up too much you you will have a small window of um, adding a little bit of water to it but what I do is I just scrape up that last bit get try and get one more out of it you can see there once it starts drying um, the tissue doesn't want to suck it in so you just get it on your finger even your scraping tool and get it on there it doesn't matter you know the only place you, you really want to be a bit careful is um, if you're putting a road in like I am down the middle there you don't want it too lumpy on there and any plaster that's left if you do make up loads um, you can always save that and use that for rocks you know really you should wash the pot out every time 
if you're downstairs. You can. Um, because once it starts going off, it mixes with your next load and makes the process of it going off even faster. But um, as you're only making up such a small amount, sometimes you can get away with just keep making it up, making it up because you go along. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go around this side and up over the top of there and down the back of that hill there. Um, really, if you can get all your cardboarding done first, then you can crack on. But it, it's a you know this is a big layout. I've got a lot of hill work to do and a lot of plastering, so it just makes if you can break it up into a couple of sessions, do a bit of plastering, a bit of cardboarding. Um, while that's going off, you can go off and do a bit more cardboard and then come back, put your second layer on. But be prepared to get messy. And, um, you, you know, you can cover your track up if you're doing a tunnel or something like that, so it doesn't all drip on the track. So any questions on... Uh, I'll try and pick this up, but my hands are so filthy. It's very hard to see the definitions when it's all the same colour on the camera. But, you know, this is the cheapest and easiest way of doing it without having to buy. Um, look, like in America they use styrofoam, I think, which is a really good way of doing it. But, um, over here you've got to buy everything that costs a lot of money in England. Styrofoam, uh, Celotex you could probably use. Um, polystyrene, you know, I, I'm a hoarder of polystyrene. But it's um, difficult to cut. And I find this is the cheapest because we've all got cardboard we throw away. You know, you buy a load of cheap old tissue roll from Lidl's. Um, the plaster is quite expensive, but you know, compared to every any other way of hill making, this is the cheapest and easiest way of doing it. Right? Any questions? Subscribe if you like. Okay. Bye.